was, what have you learned about afterlife and reincarnation, and what do you see in the room right now? Well, there's a, there's a real thing going on when I hear people say, I know and I believe. I think belief can be very dangerous if it goes unchecked. Um, in my experience, pre this, it was when you die and get out of the monkey suit, you're either going up or down. It's silly to me to think of now, but that was my experience, and that's what I clung to. Um, I've had experiences that strongly, strongly point to reincarnation, and that's what I'm going with now, just because I keep experiencing it. Now, if something shows up and that paradigm crumbles, I'm working really hard to be okay with that. I see a lot of people that just have to be correct on these answers. This is the way, this is the answer, and I think that that's foolish. So, also, when I seek out different advice or different teachers, if I ask them 20 questions, and I don't get at least one I don't know. I'm very reluctant to want to hear anything they had to say because they don't know. You've had your experiences that got you to this point, so have I. Maybe we can share information and we can learn that way as opposed to this kind of guru stuff. Um, I don't see anything. Uh, I'm sure something will pop up at some point. It's not a 24 7 thing with me. And I really do meditation work to crank it down. So when the economy is crumbling and I'm walking through Times Square, I mean, it's a real freak show. <laughs> so, um, and I, I haven't really done anything to try to sharpen the skills, so to speak. For me, these experiences have got me to a place where I want to be. And really, when you meet some of these shaman or healers or psychic, I don't even like the word psychic mediums, that's a hell of a lot of responsibility. And I'm not so certain I want that responsibility. Does that make sense? Yeah.